Welcome to week 29, Mama. You are seven months pregnant, which means you're only two months away from meeting the baby that you've been working hard growing. Can you even believe it? I'm Bridget, I'm a Lamaze childbirth educator, birth doula, and a mama, and this channel is dedicated to empowering parents with knowledge to have the best pregnancy, birth, and postpartum possible. Make sure you're subscribed and have hit the little bell so you're not missing out on any videos that I put out just for you. This week, your baby weighs between two and a half and three pounds, about the size of a butternut squash. From now until birth, they're going to double or even triple their weight. On average, a baby born between 37 and 40 weeks weighs somewhere between five pounds, eight ounces to eight pounds, 13 ounces, but your baby can be born under that weight or way over that weight and be totally healthy. While we're on the topic of baby size, many mamas worry about how their body is capable of birthing a baby out of their vagina. First, I want to encourage you that you are built to birth, and here's how I know that. Number one, your pelvis moves and opens during labor, and the positions and movements that you do actually open up different levels of the pelvis. There are three levels, the top, which is called the inlet, the middle, which is called the mid pelvis, and the bottom, which is called the outlet. In my birth class, I teach you how to open up each of these levels using position changes and movement. Number two, your baby's skull bones are not yet fused together until after birth. This allows the shape of their head to mold like Play-Doh to fit the shape of your pelvis and birth canal. And three, the tissues of the vagina are designed to expand. They are folded like an accordion so that they can stretch around whatever is in it. Your body was built with birth in mind, mama. So this week in pregnancy, I encourage you to start looking into the best positions to give birth in because guess what? It's not your back like you've probably seen and heard over and over and over again. And the best place that you're going to learn this information for what movements help open up the pelvis and what positions are best to give birth in is the Built to Birth course. So check that out in the description below. And if you haven't yet, definitely, definitely take the free mini birth class. You've got nothing to lose. Now your baby is sleeping a lot in your womb, and while they sleep, they're actually dreaming as they move through their REM cycles. And what this means is that your baby's brain is rapidly developing and building billions of connections called neurons. The reason why newborns sleep so much is because growth, development, and cellular production and repair happens most while you're sleeping, and that's true for your baby even now in your womb. While your baby is sleeping, well, you may not be. The third trimester is sort of infamous for inflicting poor sleep on mamas. To help you get better sleep at night, you can look into taking magnesium before bed, having a snack 30 minutes before bed that contains protein and fat like cheese and crackers, a protein shake with whole milk or whole milk Greek yogurt with fruit, and then using affirmation meditations to help you unwind and connect with yourself and your baby before bed instead of just scrolling on your phone or watching TV. Meditation is such a powerful tool to calm the nervous system both in pregnancy and during birth. Where the mind leads, the body follows. One thing I teach in my hypnobirthing workshop is how to breathe to deepen relaxation. And I'm going to teach you how to do it right now. What you'll do is breathe in through your nose for four seconds and then exhale through your mouth slowly for a count of six. So we're going to try it together now for five breaths. So go ahead, close your eyes, place your hands on your belly to connect with your baby, or if you want, you can place them on your ribs to really feel the expansion of your breath in your ribs. Just take a moment here to settle down and then take that first breath with me when you hear me guide you. Ready, in through your nose for one, two, three, four, out through your mouth for one, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, 
three, four, five, six. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and blink your eyes open. Great job. Now when you first start doing this breathing technique, it might be a little bit challenging and it might even make you a little bit lightheaded. So modify as you need to at the beginning, but the more you practice, the easier and more effective it becomes. And you want to work on really trying to elongate that inhale and then making that exhale extra long, always longer than the inhale. This breathing technique is what I call the de-stressor breath, and it's the most important tool that you'll bring into your labor. So next time you're feeling restless or anxious at night, try this breathing technique and even pop on an affirmation meditation track that I have linked down below and experience how it guides you into deep relaxation and peace. Practice this breathing technique every day from here on out to help you prepare for labor and birth. Mama, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you have an amazing 29th week of pregnancy and I'll see you in week 30.